Whoa. This is your man, Nico B. This is the Black Effect. You already know what this is, man. Hit that like and subscribe button. Um, donate to the Cash App if you so see fit. And I'm going to get into it, man. This is important. Um, black people, man. Are my people. Yeah, my people. We are our own worst enemy. You know, every ill, I'm convinced, damn near. At first, see, I wasn't on this. Of course, external force can come in, you know, and they have a hand in doing a lot of the um, the extras, you know, and nudging, like basically puppeteering the actions, like slavery and things like that. Slavery, but look at slavery. Let's start there. Look at that. Yeah, sure. The white man was looking for someone to conquer. He already did it with the Indians. He was going to do that with anyone he came into contact with. So instead of forming a a militia against them or, you know, or, or a force to oppose him, what happened? You had brothers selling other brothers. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. For gain. Some of the different tribes, they was probably jealous of the other motherfuckers and wanted to get them out of her. And, you know, and they sent them off her to this hell, you know what I'm saying, and prepared that that's caused everything you, you see today. You know, all the black man has came this far. The American black man, you know, the tribe of Judah has came this far, you know. And it's like, it's crazy because... You know, like I said, it starts there. If, if the white folks couldn't have done anything, and then when you still, when slavery was going on, what was happening during it? I'm not talking now. I'm talking to black people specifically. I already know what the white man did. I'm a black man. You don't have to, you know, we don't have to reiterate fucking history and, and, and Django and shit. We've seen it. We know. We know that, okay? We know what the white people done. But we talking about what you what us, we, what we have done. Because I see it to this day, man. We so fucking jealous. And it's very, you see it a lot in the women today. The women today, bro, they so fucking vain. They calling, every time they referencing another sister, they calling her a bitch, a hoe. You know what I'm saying? They always, you know, uh, want to up, one up each other, you know. They'll sell up, they'll fuck and sleep. If another, if they see a, one of their girlfriends with another, with a man who, you know, who got something, and, and they gonna try to sleep with that nigga. You know what I'm saying? They gonna try to take her spot. It's, that's not your sister. You know what I'm saying? With with with, with brothers and sisters like that and, and people like that and friends like that, who fuck, you need to, you probably want to kick it with your enemies because at least they real. You know, they'll stab you in the heart. They'll come stab you like right in the sternum. Motherfuckers and, and who, who you fucking with stab you in the back and you never see it, you know. But um, also... You know, just, just, oh man, come on. We cry all day. And that's what I'm saying. Like a lot of my people, for, like, that's why I don't look at things in a, in a tribal manner like that. Like of, of a uh, black and white man. It's who riding with the G-O-D and who riding with me. You know what I'm saying? Who want to do God will for their life and who not. That's it. Wicked, evil motherfuckers, phony motherfuckers, and real motherfuckers, and real folks. That's the separation, man. You know, the pure of heart, you know, and, and those who, who got them hardened hearts. And, and, and those who, like I said, faking the funk with God himself. I'm not with them, bro. So stop all that bullshit. Because I seen, I seen my people cry wolf too much. I seen my people robbing. Nigga, Al Sharptons and even the pastors themselves have been robbing from their own people. You know, knowing that the situation that we in, these rappers, man, these niggas go out and blow all this god, this this freaking money on all this stupid stuff and chains and jewelry and all this other stuff when they could have been and pulled something together and built things in the black community. You know, they could have just done it all around. They could have ended, you know, ended a lot of this bullshit. You know what I'm saying? That that's going on. See, niggas be doing stuff, stuff to save face, man. Donate to these little charity tax write-offs and shit, man. Ain't nobody talking about that, man. Watch out, man. You know, like I said, black folks hate each other. Like we can, we can all agree on that. You know, niggas in the hood be the first one to try to see you get a little something. Then her, he go, oh shit, nigga, nigga, nigga I'm caught, nigga, you, you see that nigga right there? I don't like that, man. I'm dropped down on that, my nigga. I'm dropped down, my nigga. My, her, and her come the devil, like, right up in there, you know, one of them, one of his minions coming in the midst of them broke-ass niggas. Yo, my nigga, you see that nigga, see that nigga Nico over there, man? You see that nigga? He's shining, bro. Like, bro, he ain't say what's up to you yesterday, my nigga. 
that he, my nigga, he ain't no real nigga. Grab that, grab that thing, man. Grab it, you know. Come on, just get that thing, man. You scared, nigga? Ah, oh, that bitch. You see that bitch with that fat ass? You see that bitch with that fat ass caught up in that nigga crib? You scared, nigga? That's what the devil is doing. He, it's easy for the devil to manipulate black niggas, bro. And when he do that, the devil just be like, when he do that, mm, cause he know you coming. He know you coming, and you finna try to go fuck up another, uh, another um, shining life, man. You know what I'm saying? You finna come do try to do his will and and uh, prematurely take him out too, assassinate him. You know, cause that's how it happen when a weak nigga comes to another nigga, like you know what I'm saying, a stronger nigga, and just try to try to uh, take his uh, his mortal life so he can shed his flesh. You know, uh, try to damage his flesh. I mean. When when that happened, that's assassination, bro. That ain't no murder. That, that's just a nigga trying. He had to assassinate a bigger nigga. You know what I'm saying? Niggas be doing that. Pop Smoke got assassinated. Pac, Tupac, assassinated. We know who killed him, but you know they assassinated him. No one stepped to him. You know what I'm saying? None. Not Orlando Anderson could have stepped to him. You know what I'm saying? Which they wanted to do. That would have been a real thing. But you know we know the story behind that. But uh, yeah, man, like. You know, just just all this shit, bro. Like we 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 don't want to give props where props is due. <laughs> you don't even want to give props to niggas. Like until niggas are dead. Like until a black man is dead, women or men don't want to give him no props. They don't want to tell you know, be honest and say what what he's done for them. You know, they don't have a thank you. They don't have a you know any type of empathy for the man. Like when he going through shit, they'll throw him away at the drop of a hat. It's like, you don't want to give a nigga no props, but when he die, everybody is immortalized. Oh, man, he was the best. You know, how many, they, but really, they, really, a lot of y'all niggas just be using, I see what y'all do. Y'all just be using niggas' name. You know, a lot of y'all just be using niggas' name when they die. You know, y'all don't give a fuck about them. You know, a lot of y'all just be, um, uh, trying to make misery love company y'all uh, y'all keep up with all morbid things you know anything that's morbid y'all a part of so anybody that die oh that just give you more more ammunition to be woe is me like oh they can't you know eat people like you just in that type of state but you don't give a fuck about those people you don't even you know what i'm saying a lot of y'all niggas is is ridiculous but we gotta stop that bro like i said get and quit getting behind these phony leaders looking at niggas with money you know, and just every time, and that's the thing about the black community. I know this for a fact. If you got money in the black, see, this is how it is. Ain't nobody listening. Ain't, and, and this is a saying. There was a quote from a movie. Ain't nobody in the black community listening unless you got cold, hard cash or a hot slug for their ass. Then you will get all the attention in the world. But when you on there kicking knowledge to the brothers, you know, like nigga, uh, uh, Inspector Dex, that nigga on the shorty on the corner dripping, uh, sipping beer, and they ain't trying to hear what I'm kicking in his ear. You know what I'm saying? Niggas, people run around like they know everything till you just wake up in the fucking afterlife. And then when that's it, it's over. God ushering you to, you know, the lower parts of the earth. So come on, it's serious. It's not a game. But us, we our own worst enemy. We do the most. We be crying. Niggas be crying, wolf. You look at the nigga, the brothers who try to talk positive in the community or try to bring positivity. The ones who will actually go to war for the community. The ones who will actually start programs for kids and that's not thoroughs and things like that. They get nothing but opposition and arguments from the women in the community. You know, from the men in the community. Like, and like I say, they, they totally, they don't give them no help. They arguing under the comments where them want to insult them. You know what I'm saying? Insulting niggas you don't know like little women. Men a lot nowadays, I see why women is, is in the black community is pissed because a lot of men are effeminized, bro. A lot of them are acting like little women. And that's just the truth, man. They don't they don't harbor the uh, proper male male traits. Like you don't do, I don't never if go under some random man I don't know who trying to do his thing and and just insult him because he disagree with me or some shit like that like that's start trying to start little catty chatty stuff with another man you trying to get some attention from him why don't you just give him some props you know what i'm saying come show him some love or show some respect be like i agree to disagree and then nigga link up with you you know what i'm saying but y'all don't know how to do that man my people bro my people my people, we gotta, we, we really gotta do better before we wanna blame anybody. You know, yeah, we, you know, we can't even get on one accord to get our damn reparations. You know, yeah, this country owes us. 
Oh, what's this? Yup, and I want to all the stimulus, man, stimulate, stimulate these nuts. You should have been in stimulating my pockets, man. Stimulate the black people pockets to see how they quickly they roll this bullshit out to give you some 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 money. They need to, they could quickly do that to stimulate black folks, and that shows that how much they uh, the country don't don't give a damn about black people. We know that, who you know, and that shows how ungrateful they are and, and how ungodly they are also, you know. But that's why you know they're gonna continue to go through it too. But that's a separate subject, you know. Countries are gonna continue to go through it for the sins of the fathers and the things they've done. But us as black people need to rise like the phoenix and for that we got to get together man and stop all this infighting and harming each other and, and hating each other all right it's your man nico b black effect gone <laughs>